Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokemon here. Today we have my round 5 match of the Little Cup Open. Now this is the biggest Pokemon tournament of all time. There were over 3,000 entrants in this particular Open. And there's more than that in the entirety of Grand Slam, which is what I'm, you know, a part of right now. So, from 3,000, we're down to about 200, a little bit less. And I'm playing Solwyn this round. If you guys don't know about Solwyn, Solwyn is an excellent tournament player. I think is like top 3 in tournament records on Smogon overall, enters a lot of them, does really well in a lot of them as well. So this is going to be a really fun game, or a really fun series that we'll be playing. Little Cup is actually pretty intense, if you guys missed my last round, I'd check it out, I have a playlist down below, so if you guys do like the tournament content, make sure you let me know, leave a like, subscribe as well if you're new to the channel, on my way to 300k, that's my end of the year goal, if everybody who's not subscribed, subscribe today, I could hit 300k. And, again, like I said, if you missed my previous rounds, it's all there. If I win this, I make it to round six, which would be about half of what we have right now. So there'll probably be about less than 100 players left in that. And more importantly, I want to make it to playoffs of Grand Slam because all these big stuff is just for uh, the top 16, which I'm trying to qualify for currently. But without further ado, I'll pause it until we get the battle versus Solwind. We'll be right back. Guys, so here we are with uh, game one versus Solwind. So. Oh, they're all going to be versus Solwyn. <laughs> game one, game two. Uh, potentially game three if I win or lose or whatever. Anyway, so. Pretty standardish looking squad. Uh, Ponyta goes crazy here. No real fire resist. Carvana doesn't actually count. Gotta keep my timber alive for this. Gotta be careful about Natsu. Definitely the biggest threat. And I wanted to put Protect on my Abra because I never click Submission in practice. But it is what it is. We always go Dwebble in this type of game, though. Uh, and typically they always leave me Enfu. I knock off as they fake out, and then uh, I knock off again. And then I kind of play from there what I think is best. In this case, I would like rocks for Natsu, unless I'm able to kill Natsu early. If I can kill Natsu early, that's going to open up Timber a lot in the end game. Uh, so we're going to start off with Dwebble. And go from there. The thing is my Abra revenge kills a lot on their team, but it just gets revenge killed by first impression, which is why like I was debating going protect on over submission, but we can't like dwell on that. I should never lose to this because I have these two. This guy's a problem. Grookey has a potential end game that goes crazy too, but yeah, so it's always doable on the start. Always a knockoff. And then yeah, there's the Mian food. They're going to fake me out. Give me my speed boost. Fake out's also good because it would break sturdy if I had sturdy. And then we go for knockoff here. We always try and get the Natsu. I mean, they might stay in, but again, knocking them off means they're always dying to Carvana. So it's it's just a good play regardless for me. So I'll take it. I'm assuming a lot of players, like I said, like to high jump kick here. Um, but it's a decent trade. But if they want to go hard not to on Stealth Rock, it makes sense too. And the thing is as well, like, I mean, best case for me would be they go hard not to right now. So I get up Stealth. Like, so then I get the item off of it and I get double knockoff for free. Like literally for free. Because getting rid of Violite means that Grookey can mess through it later. Someone's thinking a lot about this turn. I guess they're wondering if I go for Stealth Rock here and they want to see if they can prevent them. Yep, they do go Natsu, which is great. So, even though going for... Uh, even for though it's super tempting to go for Stealth Rock, knocking off their Mianfu, which is for sure coming back in, just goes a long way anyway. So they fake me out again. I do die to high jump kick, but now I can go for... It doesn't matter if they go... This this trade doesn't matter at all because they can't kill me with anything after. So basically, I get a kill here and I always get up Stealth Rock. Is what I'm saying. So if I can kill Natsu, that's great. Like, I always go for Stealth Rock. I already got basically what I needed out of this turn. Yep, I got a Brox, which is great. High jump kick obviously lands. So here's my thought process now. If I go Abra, they sack Natsu. No, I think I always go Ponyta. 
because it's a free bl uh, flare blitz to kill Mianfu. Uh, it's a kill Natu, excuse me. They'll always go Natu. But it's a free flare blitz. I would love if they go coughing. Though, because weakening that would open up my timber in game, which is what I'm going for. But I want to KO Natu. So he got me on that turn, but um, but not like I. It was all calculated for. Like I'm okay with trading rocks as long as I get rocks in this game, specifically for those Pokemon. Yeah. So Flare Blitz is a kill on Mianfu. After uh, about that range, I played enough Little Cup to to think I'm right about that, and then I get trapped by Trap Inch. But then that opens up my. Um, Opens up my Carvana and my Grookey. I think. I would also like if Mianfu died here too, I guess. That'd be good too. Or they go hard, Trap Inch, and just get two shot. And they're not Berry Juice, they're Eviolite. Or Life Orb, whatever is best for me. Again, best case scenarios here would be yeah, there's a Natsu Sack, and then they're going to go Trap Inch after. Or they should, rather. So I'm trapped here. Can't do crap. Gonna Flare Blitz. Alright, so they are a Violite. Good to note. Alright, so this guy is always gonna be able to revenge kill me. If I go Abra, I can mess this up with Grookey and then try an endgame with my Carvana plus Mock Punch. So I believe the play is to go Abra here. Shadow Ball should do 37% to this guy, but I just want to be sure. What's the Mon called? Trap Inch. Yep, okay, good. Oh yeah, I see. Shadow Ball kills. And more importantly, I weaken Feral Thorn, which is exactly what we need. Uh, I think they know that this thing can run Fire Punch. I want to say my opponent knows that this thing runs Fire Punch. I'm doing it anyway. Okay, cool. So we get rid of Feral Sea, which is awesome. Trap Inch is going to come in and revenge kill me, but I got rid of the two things I need for my Carvana to go crazy. My Carvana goes crazy. Their Carvana also goes crazy, but I have the two priority mons in the back for it. So Trap Inch is going to revenge kill me. Then give me a free Swords Dance for coughing to weaken for my Timbering game, I believe. Again, Protect here would have won me the game immediately. So we go Grookey now. We SD up. On Coughing. Grookey. Plus two. All I gotta do is get the damage and have my Timber alive. Maybe they'll sack this too, to be honest. That'd be great as well. Yeah, knocking off the Violet on coughing means that my Carvana can end in game. I get free crunches for days. Yeah. And more importantly, opens up uh, Trap Inch. So we knock off here. Like I said, get rid of it to Violet. 50%. Yep. Carvana's Crunch always KOs because this is still with an Aviolite. So we go Carvana here and we Crunch. Crunch is my play because we don't want them going out to their own Carvana. Oh, they gave me Trap Inch. Interesting. Very interesting. I think as long as I get the hit off on them, I win. Because I always kill Mianfu with Psychic Fangs. As long as it's knocked off, it always dies. Yep, 109 min. 
So again, this was the end game I was going for. Let's see if we got it. Carvana comes out. Protects here just for extra HP. It doesn't actually matter. I think they did, obviously they did the exact same thing. Then I flip turn for the chip for crunch. Because I grass terrain ends and they don't knock me out with Psychic Fangs this turn. Their life orb. Mock Punch is always my best play. Doesn't matter what play they go for, Mock Punch is always my best play. They go coughing. It doesn't matter if coughing gets help. I basically have set it up for the point that my um, my Carvana wins. Because all I needed was that flip turn damage on their Carvana. I'm always going to have a be up a speed boost. I'm literally always going to be up a speed boost. So. I think we're good. I think they should have saved Trap Inch though because Trap Inch can... Um, what's it called? Unless they try and fake me out and put me in a way where they win. Doesn't matter if they pain split. I just get the chip I need. I guess I Drain Punch. Just in case they go me Enfu. Raw. They might pain split here. No, they lost. Yeah, they just lost. Cool. All right. I was thinking they maybe pain split to sack themselves because I get my speed boost guaranteed now. And then I crunch to kill Carvana. And then I Psychic Fangs always kill me and food because I knocked it off, which is why, like I said, that trade earlier was fine. Our trade early was the play. Getting rid of Feral. I mean, I knew exactly what I had to do to get Carvana to win. I would have not sacked Trap Inch, though, because it has Faint, and Faint goes through Protect. So, like, there's 50 50s. Like, do I Protect on First Impression, or do they go for Faint twice to put me in Life Orb range? Of course, there are still situations where Solwyn can win. Um, one, I could spontaneously combust, but the other, more quote unquote realistic one, is that. Well, actually, is it, is it even more realistic than spontaneous he can bust? He can get six protects in a row and then try and make my... Um... There's no way this is sub. But he can get six protects in a row and try and make it so my um, my Carvana has to speed tie his Carvana. But that dies. And uh, I mean, now he needs multiple protects in a row. Good game. All right, so we take game one. I'm glad it went the way I wanted, which is nice. Um, challenge for game two when ready. We'll take game one there, which is nice. Also, guys, if you haven't already picked up my Draco Shaker, over 50% of the inventory is gone. We're going crazy with the sales. Thank you for the support. I truly appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, this is like our way of getting a potential flavor and everything. So, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I truly do. <laughs> God freaking blunder. <laughs> I'll, I'll give him the spreadsheet. I'll give him the. I'll give him the spreadsheet. Oh, the tour sheet. My bad. All right, let's look at this one. I like this team a lot too. It focuses on very similarly. Um, let me. Uh, one sec, so when I'm about to accept this. I thought he was talking about the Grand Slam spreadsheet. But that first team I really, really, really like. Shout out to Kyther as well for the teams. Looks like we are fighting <laughs> Sun. Sun is a scary matchup. Because that is Scarf. That's Scarf Charmander. Have fun. And has 17 speed, which actually makes it a little bit difficult, but it only has Weather Ball. I mean, it's important that it has Weather Ball, right? But like I'm just saying it only has Weather Ball. We always go me info in these type of leads. Uh oh. 2018 HP. He's gonna he's gonna final gambit. Oh he didn't final gambit? That's fine.
I think I just protect here because this mod messes him up. <laughs> like, like legitimately this mod messes him up. <laughs> what the hell? What does Trubbish run? Sunny day doesn't matter because crunch is what's going to be killing everything. And this is very off. My opponent is running like super offensive. There's Trubbish. Takes 95. It eject buttoned out, but I mean, all I did was. Did I eject button out? No, it eject buttoned out, but all I did was weaken Trubbish. So I don't know. I don't know if this is worse for me or not. I have no idea. But like I said, I think Carvana goes crazy in this. And that's what I'm going for. Let's see, Volpix. Crunch kills Volpix always. Charmanders are always Scarf on this build. Crunch kills that too. I would have went Ponyta as well. I think because I'm a Violet, I sack Pharaoh Seed here. Always. Again, because this is these guys are Scarf, so these guys will all die. The, the thing is, I don't want to flip turn this and get the uh, the Flame Body. So, yeah, I always sack that. I go you. They're trapped, so I protect first just to waste the turn of Sun. I don't know if they're Scarf. They went for Flame Charge, that doesn't matter. So we know they're not Scarf now, which means I KO Ponyta. That's the only thing that could burn me. I think I win the game by clicking Crunch multiple times though. So Ponyta is gone. Uh, the only thing that I guess I could burn me with Flame Body. Natu comes out. Ooh, how much HP does Natu have? 21. Okay, yeah, we beat up here. Mm-hmm. I get a crit, which... Oh, no, it didn't matter. They have berry juice. Actually, I have final gambit here. Well, they would you turn right? No, 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 no. I, I beat up again. I beat up again. All I gotta do is be, make... There's no way this is not Earthquake, right? So I think we win? I think Crunch Spam just wins, because Vulpix are Scarf. This is Scarf. The rest is offensive. Sun is very interesting. Sun is super interesting. Yeah, we beat up again. That's a, that's a Violet Arena Trap Diglett, bro. This needs to be banned too. This, Trap Hinge, Magnemite, everything that can trap, I think needs to be banned. Magnezone and OU. So I have five hits here. 9, 29, 19, whatever. Do I earthquake here actually? No, no, no. They wouldn't make they wouldn't make the bad sack. No, no, no. I always do this. U turn doesn't even kill me from Natsu, so I have a protect after. I have double protect into Sun, which is like pretty solid. Alright, so we go for that. Yep. Two, three, four, five. Natsu's dead. Perfect. Not to being dead is perfect there. You said I got a crit, but one still did 20. Oh. This one did 29, but wait, what? Did you guys see this? Nine on a critical hit. It did nine. But then it did. Oh, that was the five, I guess. That was the five. Okay, okay. I was, I was a little confused for a second. I was a little confused for a second. I don't think that Volpix runs anything other than Scarf on these. Hypnosis, Weather Ball, Energy Ball. 
Makes sense. Hmm. I'm really glad how we got rid of Ponyta though, and Natsu. So like, I'm 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 looking pretty good here. And as long as I can protect and stall out turns, I think I'm good too. I think we we'll always sack Natsu on everything that comes out too. Charmander comes out. Click protect the scout. They flamethrower there. I'm gonna sack Natsu. The psychic there. Oh, they gave me the psychic chip on this guy, which is nice. Oh, it wasn't even Scarf Vulpix, so I actually won a speed tie, which is very important. Okay, so. Potentially six turns left the sun. This is definitely solar power as well. Five turns left the sun. We fake out here though. And its own solar power is working against it, which is obviously helping me out too. I sat coughing. I mean, I get rid of neutralizing gas, so I might actually live. Yep. Yeah, neutralizing gas actually aced an extra turn turn, which is really nice. So I actually wasted two sun turns there, which is nice. Fake out again. And then I th believe me, Enfu just wins. Got the title right there. So I brought the same team I use every round to a big tournament. <laughs> Did he use Sun last round? Is that what happened? Well, what does this even do for you? I just sacked Diglett. I sacked Diglett because it's the last turn of Sun. Even if he doubles back into Diglett, he not only he loses. He loses 100% if he doubles back. In, let's say he doubles right now into Diglett on my Diglett. He still loses because if he wins a speed tie, then I uh, if he wins a speed tie and knocks me out, then I just go Carvana and protect him to guarantee win. If he um, if he goes for Sunny Day and I knock him out, then it's a guarantee win anyway because Charmander has to come in. I protect on its solar power, then I get fake outs for days. Fire blast there. I just click knock off here to guaranteed win. He crit me as well, but it wasn't enough. Crit me as well, but it wasn't enough to win. And Carvana wins me the game. GG's. All right, so I make it to the next round, and more importantly, more importantly, Sunday still good for RBY. I have to play him for uh, for RBY as well. But more importantly, I now secure 19 points. So I'm in the top 16, which is what I want to be. I secure 19 points, which puts me around here. And I think if I if I somehow win the RU Open. Uh, I, I'm guaranteed in playoffs. I think right now with 19 points, I'm at least tied for a uh, tiebreaker at best, but we'll see what happens, bro. I oh, don't know. We'll see what ends up happening, but uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Little Cup is definitely very intense. That was Sun. That's uh, that's called Sun Cheese. I I think that if... <laughs> you know what's crazy? If, um, if he won the speed tie... Verbal picks, I instantly won. I instantly won if he won the speed tie versus uh, Natu. Because he knocked me out. I literally go Carvana, click protect, and then I have the speed boost. I'm faster than everything, and I click crunch, 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 crunch. But yeah, I do hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did enjoy uh, the shark attack or piranha, I guess. This is piranha, right? This is a piranha, and then the shark is actually Sharpedo. I got a plan for RBY, and he won RBY Cup, so <laughs> I'm definitely the underdog in both of these, but. Um, and that's only if uh, Poic doesn't win, because Blunder won for the, the tournament where in semifinals up, and uh, so then Poic plays next, and then I'm last. But I do hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe as well for more tournament content. We make it to, actually, I'll show you. I'll show you because we're at this point. Also, what's your favorite Little Cup Pokemon? I, I, I ask these questions at the end because I want to see if you, 
you know, actually watch. But um, one good games. Uh, let me put that. What's your favorite little cup Pokemon? Like to use? Honestly, it might be Carvana for me. This mod broken. Like it felt broken. Also, so yeah, this is like there's only about 200 people left here, and uh, this is round five. But if you see all the the round four, like round one through four, was broken up into like <laughs> four different brackets because there was that many people. But yeah, what's your favorite little cup one? Also, feel free to pick up my Draco Shaker. The link is down below. Use code AIM. You're supporting me. G feels a caffeinated energy drink though, so be aware what you're drinking. But that's a shaker. You can drink something out of the shaker. It's not anything like that. So it doesn't matter what age you are for that. But 18 plus if you buy caffeinated stuff, in my opinion. Um, I don't know what you or... <laughs> I say your parents, but realistically, my demographic is 18 to 23, 40%. And then 24 to like 30 is like 40... No, no. 40% 18 to 23. Like 44% 24 to 30. Because I know we're a little bit older. I know those people... Like, it's crazy. When I first started... I, it was way younger, obviously, because we were all younger, but now as we're going, we're there. So I, I really don't think I appeal to a younger demographic because, they, bro, they they don't... I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe there's some people here that are younger that that play mods. That's cool and all. I'm glad. And you know what? You're getting competitive? That's sick. But I feel like competitive takes a little higher understanding of a level, at least. But uh, anyway, don't know what I'm going on about. I just like to let you know, you know, pick up my Draco Shaker. I uh, will see you guys in the next one. And that's it. Peace.